Um, so th there's a, a closed end mutual fund. I guess I have to explain what that is. Um, unlike the prisoner's dilemma, it's not taught in every class. Um, a closed end mutual fund is just like a regular mutual fund, except that the shares are traded on exchanges. So if you want to buy shares in the Cuba fund, you would call your broker in the old days or go to uh, your account and say, I want to buy $1,000 worth of shares in the Cuba fund. Um, now, the interesting thing about these closed-end funds uh, is that they don't always sell for the value of the assets that they own, which is a little odd. And in fact, I wrote an early paper about closed-end funds uh, talking about that. It infuriated Merton Miller uh, for reasons uh, I never learned, but it did. Um, so, but let's go back to Cuba. Um, the Cuba fund has the ticker symbol C-U-B-A, but cannot and could not ever invest in Cuba. For one thing, there are no securities in Cuba. For second, it would be against the law. So we can stop with those. Uh, so there, the fund has never owned any interest in Cuba. They have uh, mostly US stocks, some Mexican stocks, some cruise ship lines. Uh, I, I'm not sure why they named it the Cuba Fund. Maybe they appealed to the mojito set or something like that. So uh, OK, so that's the Cuba Fund. and. Like most closed-end funds, historically it traded at a discount, meaning the shares traded at about 10 to 15 percent less than the assets uh, that they owned. Uh, so here's a plot. The uh, orangish line is net asset value, which means the value of the assets that the fund owns. The green line is the price. And you can see over there at the beginning, it's uh, trading at a discount. And then something strange happens. And all of a sudden, it starts trading at a surplus of 70%. So a week earlier, you could buy $100 worth of Caribbean stocks for $85. Then the next week, $170. Anybody have any idea? So this was the day that President Obama announced his intention to relax relations with Cuba. Um, now, remember, this fund doesn't have any ownership in Cuba. <laughs> and you, know, you might think, well, yeah, but if he goes through with this, it could boost the economy throughout the region. But if that were the case, then the orange line would go up, right? Because the share, these cruise ship lines that are going to be frantically going back and forth are going to make more money, if anything, the market goes down a little bit uh, over this period. If there's a rational explanation for this, I don't know it. 